My name is Tisdell. First name, Asho C. Junior. Major of Cavalry. Aide de camp to Major General King. Commanding General of the Luzon Force. <clears throat> now, Major Tisdell, uh, were you uh, a member of the American and Filipino forces on Bataan in April 1942? I was. Now, what was your uh, rank and assignment at that time? I was Captain Aide to the Commanding General of the Luzon Force. Who was? Major General E.P. King, Jr. <clears throat> Now, uh, were you present at the uh, surrender of Major General King, the Conference of Surrender, to the Japanese forces? I was. In April 1942. I was. <clears throat> now, will you tell the Commission, as chronologically as possible, the events just preceding at the time of the conference and immediately after? Yes. <clears throat> In the last few days of April 1943, just preceding the 9th of April, now, left as you were, uh, 1941, sir. 42, that's right. April. Yes. Let's start over again now and uh, answer the question, please. In the days immediately preceding the 9th of April, 1942, the Japanese forces had pushed back the American forces on Bataan in such fashion that it was no longer possible to reorganize them. Approximately 43 percent of the armed forces on Bataan were ill with malaria, dysentery, and or debilitation from lack of rations. During the period 3 April to 8 April 1941-42, the American forces had gradually broken, reserves had been released from force headquarters to second corps headquarters, there were no further reserves available, and the second corps had disintegrated. When it became apparent through lack of communications with forward elements and when it became apparent that elements that were uh, available could no longer be reorganized and this was on the afternoon of the 8th of April 1942 General King called members of his staff together and instructed that all material would be restore, uh, destroyed with the exception of truck and passenger transportation. This order was carried out during the afternoon and night of 8, 9 April 1942. Uh, at 
2 o'clock in the morning of 9 April, the general, uh, as you were, General King, had been unable to make contact with the Japanese commander. And at that time, Colonel Everett C. Williams, Field Artillery, General King's Chief of Artillery, volunteered to go forward personally to make such contact. He was... Yes, sir. Where was your CP at that time? It was... Uh, in the vicinity of... Uh, Uh, never mind the record. I don't remember the kilometer, sir. I think it was 157, but I'm not sure. It was, it was on the main road, just uh, east. Of Maravales. Uh, yes, sir. The uh, Japanese were under the impression that our headquarters was in Maravales because General King had had his engineers continually repair small buildings there uh, for that purpose, to make them think that our headquarters was there. They continually bombed it and did not bomb our actual headquarters, which was hidden in the woods.